What, you think this opportunity to kill someone is something I can't deny? You know? Where's this telephone? Is it in my room? Or is it downstairs? It's phone downstairs, isn't it? It's getting louder. Wait. Okay. Let's pick up the phone. There's nothing unusual about it. Okay, then answer it. Hello? Ivy? Ivy, stop pressing the buttons on the phone. Okay, this isn't fucking creepy at all, is it? Why are the buttons shaped like a penis? Panel? Oh. Um. Wh what? Ground floor? Then f <laughs> This is the wrong way around. She said in the basement, right? So let's go. All the way up or all the way down? Okay, it did knock me back to this floor. So I guess the fourth floor is bad right now. I can't go there. Let's try the third. Okay, third floor is fine. No smoking. I won't. Function room A. Read notice. Private party tonight, invitations only. It's dark inside. I guess the party hasn't started yet. Speaking of which, did I pick up that note she left us? No. Locked. Bathroom door. Um, is this blood? Man, someone made a mess. And yeah, a real fucking mess. <laughs> she slashed her wrists in a bath. What a nasty way to die. It fucking is. A syringe. Normally, I'd steer clear of dirty needles. But today's not a normal day. Let's take it then. <laughs> oh yeah. It's pretty obvious she's blown her head off with a shotgun. Oh fuck me. These stiff dead fingers will never loosen their grip on the gun. Can't you just, you know, rip it off or something? What's a damn cooker doing in the bathroom? Nothing happens. The gas supply has probably been turned off. Sophie? This is a Sophie as well? She must be one of the four incarnations of Sophie. Looks half dead already. Where's my wife? Where's my wife? You will never find her. She is mine. Mine. <laughs> we'll see about that. You disgust me. I'm not scared of you. We'll see about that. Strangle her or leave her. <laughs> Fuck me. Let's kill her, come on. Hey, we should get a cat. Whoa. And we'll cuddle it tight every time we feel sad. Okay, don't strangle her. No, not like this. I'll find another way. Yeah. Fuck me. This was weird. Holy fucking shit. 
I guess I'll have to turn on the gas somehow. Okay, let's let's remember third floor. Several dead Sophies, one of them still alive, barely, and I need to find a way to kill her. Painting of a lady wearing a hat. I feel like her eyes have been following me around the room. No. I don't feel so. No, actually no, it would have been really nice if they had, but no. Look closer. Examine? Painting of a lady with wearing a hat, she's got a nasty smile on her face, I feel like her eyes have been following me around the room. Again, no. Can I use the syringe on her? <laughs> I can't do anything with the syringe here. It's got a needle on, I need to be careful. Do you want some money, maybe? <laughs> There's nothing to pay for here. Okay, I guess this is another puzzle. Let's exit and come here another time. Next stop, second floor. So this game isn't as long as the cat lady. Fancy meeting you here, Joe. I thought you'd be long gone by now. Oh, it must be that weather. Nasty. Then again, it always rains here. Again, what I said, this game isn't as long as the cat lady, but oh, I wish it was. I like games like this. This is really good. Get lost. I have no time for small talk. <laughs> oh man, I love being an asshole in video games. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere until I save my wife. None of this is real, and neither are you. None of this is real, and neither are you. Oh, but it is, Joe. I'll prove it to you. How? Oh. No thanks. Will you kiss but me? But I'm giving you my permission. Okay, kiss me. Don't be so scared. Come closer and see how very real I am. <laughs> you can touch me. Oh yeah, baby. Come on, I Joe. you want to. Yeah. Are you coming on to me? Look, this really isn't a good time. Go touch yourself, crazy lady. <laughs> I would love to say this, but I have to get this out of the way. She is hitting on me, isn't she? Are you coming on to me? Maybe. Maybe. Don't. <laughs> you're playing hard to get, but I know deep inside, you're burning with desire. Yeah, she's right about that. I've got to go now. It gets busy this time of day. But come find me in my office later. I will, don't worry. And then we can finally get really naughty. Oh yeah. L let me censor something in this game. I haven't done done already, you know? I don't think I need to censor this. Susan's down in the, in the bathroom. Uh, I have to take a look at them again to see. The corridor. Room 207. Locked. Some luggage. Where are we now? Room 206. Open! Funnily enough. Glass bowl. Examine. Looks like a terrarium for a spider. A lever? Tempting. I'm not sure what it does. I'll better leave it alone for now. To be honest, it looks like an el electric chair. Is this an electric chair? There's some cables running from the chair further into the room. Yeah, towards this creepy fucking doctor. At least I hope he's a doctor. Uh, hi. What's that? I'm busy. Just get on with it and be quick. <laughs> okay, who are you? Who are you? Why? Have we not been acquainted yet? No. I think I'd remember a man covered in blood, dressed as a doctor, performing brain surgery. Oh, wow. A live brain surgery. Jesus, man. Oh, finally. The... Now this... This here is called a Lazarus sign. 
Worry you not, it often occurs post-mortem. But I assure you, this lady has been well and truly dead for quite some time now. Um, why do you have to fiddle around in her brain then? Just leave her alone then. Just leave her alone then. I can't. <laughs> I'm going to bring her back. What? But you said she's dead. It's too late. It is never too late. So he's a crazy German doctor, isn't he? Oh, I love this trope in, in, in the video games and movies. It's a crazy German guy. Who is she anyway? Who is she anyway? What? Who? What do you mean, who? The girl on the table with her head cut open. Oh, her, yes. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, but oh. my assumption is she is of great significance in all of this. Is she? I think her name is Agnes. So you knew okay. her when she was alive? Oh, no, not really. It was embroidered in her knickers. <laughs> wow. Okay, so her name is Agnes. Not a, n n a nicest name is Sophie, but still okay, I guess. I don't know what's up with me and rating all these female names, but these games usually have pretty cool female names. What's going on what's here? What's going on here? Oh, I'll tell you what is going on. Bad, bad things are going on, and I'm not impressed. Have you noticed his eyes? <laughs> They're looking in two separate directions and they roll around while he speaks. <laughs> it looks really weird. Huh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Yes. At first the whispering didn't seem that much of a bother. But then the voices got louder and louder. I can't even hear my own thoughts sometimes. It's like they're trying to stop me from something. All I hear is this slide projector. Yes, for now. But wait. In time you will hear them too. I'm trying to find my wife. I'm trying to find my wife. Well, you won't find her here, that is certain. Most visitors I get are stiff as a board. But don't get me wrong, that's fine with me. This way I really get to see the sick filth that fills their troubled little heads. He's weird. Who are you really? Who are you really? Isn't it quite clear enough? I'm a doctor. If I can't save us all from this downfall, then no one can. <laughs> You're full of shit. You can't save everyone. Can you save me? Can you save me? Yes! But Ow. I need your help. Don't worry, it's nothing complicated. All I need you to do is this. Bring me something. What? From the cellar. I'll okay. give you the key. Whoa. Bring what? Thank you. You'll know when you see it. Poison? I'm sure you will. Can you go and fetch it for me? Sure. I'm not a dog. Go fetch it yourself. Fine, I'll go to the cellar. I need to go there anyway to get the poison. I was just on my way there, actually. Fine. I'll go to the cellar. Good. Go. Quickly. Here's the key. I'll get everything ready. Will we revive, revive Agnes or what the fuck is happening here? He's Can you hear that? It's the ticking of the clock and it's getting louder! Fuck me, yeah. Okay, I'm on my way. Can you maybe tell me the way? I don't know how to go to the basement. Or do I? Maybe I do. Room 205 is locked, okay. Room 204? Locked. Cigarette machine. It's a vending machine that sells packs of cigarettes. Push it. Whoa, I'm the incredible Hulk, I think. Use. They are 10 pounds a pack. I should put the money in the slot and press the button. Shake. Nothing. But I got just a thing. No. No, no! The pack got stuck. Oh, man. Come out, you damn thing. Come out! What a day, you know. My fucking wife goes missing. I meet a crazy doctor. There's this memory of a girl trying to get me to kill her and other memories. And... I think I'm going crazy. So, let's shake it. Nothing. 
only I had another tenor. Really? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, what a what a picture out there. What the fuck? Oh, this is really disorienting, actually, <laughs> walking in here. When will I get back to where I started? Room 202 is also locked. I guess this must be it, right? 201? Yeah, this is where we saw... What's her name? The reception lady. Um, panel. Ground floor. Let's skip the first floor because we know what's on there already. And the basement door is in on the stairs between ground floor and first floor. Cellar door. Oh yeah, it's locked, of course. Cellar key. So, I'll know when I get there. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Yeah. You'll know it when you see it, he says. Yeah. Right. Let's grab the bottle. It's a bottle of castor oil, never to be consumed with blueberry pies. I don't get that joke, I think. Light switch. The light is already on. A chef's jacket. Stained chef's uniform surely sent down here for cleaning. It's of no use to me, but maybe there's something in the pockets? There's a key inside. Kitchen key. Examine. I think I saw the kitchen door near the dining room. Trap door. I wouldn't even notice it if it wasn't for the light coming through the gap. Stairs. I'm not sure I should go down there. Oh, fuck. Gas supply switch? This seems to be the hotel's main gas supply switch. It's currently in off position. I've switched it on. Great. I can kill this Sophie now, I think. Shelves. Examine. All these bottles, are they... Poison? My god. Two of them. A colored. Oh wow. You just have to kill me. We kill memories all the time. Okay. I can do this. But take I've them? I got one shot. Which one do I take? Really? What could be different about them? Send me the red bottle. Red. Makes me think of blood, danger and fire. Blue bottle? Blue. Color of the sky, water and... No. Her eyes were never blue. They were green. Are, are these the hints? Take the red one? I don't know. I don't need a whole bottle of the stuff just enough for a single injection. Let's take a look at body first. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, nice observation, Joe. Do I know this person? No, that's impossible. Remove skin flap? Ugh. What the hell? Whoa! I know this bathroom. This is mine. Thanks for doing the dishes, Ives. Thanks for making dinner. It was nice. I'm just... I'm just glad you're eating again. It got me a little worried. You know, this whole... Can we just forget about it? I'm fine. There is nothing to worry about.
The little ribbon on her skirt is red. Oh, will she throw up now? Mirror, look at. Huh? Who is it? Someone closed the door. Who is it? Joe, is that you? Who's done this? Why is the door so low? It won't budge. We have. I have no items. <gasps> oh, fuck me! Fucking cat. Stupid cat! Seriously? Still? Okay, cat, do you have the key? Um. The bathtub is filled with blood now. Open the door, please. Okay. What the fuck is this? Pathetic. Ugly. Bitch. Everyone's looking at you. Your fat, disgusting body on their tongues. Let me out! Please, just let me out! There is only one way out. And you know it. Because you've been there many times before. No! I don't want to. Quiet. Now, be a good fat little girl and crawl into that hole before anyone sees you. What the fuck? She was having an episode again. The only way out is through the toilet? Is crawl in the metaphor for throwing up? For vomiting? Or will she really try to get in there, you know? What the hell? Body. This brain looks so fresh. Is this the item I was asked asked to fetch from the cellar? I bet my last cigarette that it is. Okay, let's remove the I brain. I can't then. just carry it upstairs in my hands. Oh, there's got to be some way I can deliver it fresh. Yeah, I have this bowl. The brain will certainly fit inside, but I need to figure out how to keep it fresh first. Maybe it is castor oil? The closer? Castor oil? No. Examine? Um. I bet my last cigarette that it is. Okay, maybe I'm still missing something considering this. Man, I'm not sure about the poison, you know. I think I, I need some more information to decide what to do there. Hmm. 